Hello guys and welcome to my video I'm going to be making today. So today, I was thinking we'd do a little bit of FTB. Now, I've been searching up FTB. I've been playing it a little, you know, when I get bored. Because I like it. I think it's fun. And, I mean, I, I haven't seen that many, like, tips on how to start. Like, any videos on just this, how to start off. What first machines to make. All kinds of stuff like that. I've never really seen any stuff like that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to I'm going to play FTB offline, you know, not recording, just play it, learn it and do all that stuff and then show you guys how I start, how I like to do it. So like a little kind of walkthrough on what to do. If you kind of see what I mean, so you can follow me on the little journey, learn some tips, learn some little things that I learn, learn a lot of newbie stuff, how to start off and stuff like that cuz I know a lot of people who do FTB are very new to it. So, how I suggest you start off is go, you know, get some wood, do all the normal stuff, and then find a cave. Straight away, just jump straight into a cave. I thought that was a cave. Any kind of cave. There you go. Just pretend this is a big cave. And then just get all the ore you can. Trust me, basically every single ore that you find in this game is useful. And then I suggest, you know, like this little house, just build a house. It's like a little one like this. Doesn't even matter. And go right down and find diamonds. Diamonds are important, especially straight away. So, what you want to do is get three diamonds. When you get the three diamonds, make a diamond pickaxe. Don't use it, though. Because what I think the best first thing to make in this entire game is a mining turtle. That's the best first thing you can make. So, how to make a mining turtle is this. You need a computer. To make a computer, you need seven stone. Then you put a piece of redstone in a minute and a glass pane there. So you make your computer, then you take your computer, put iron ingots all around it, and then that should give you, oop, one second, I got the recipe wrong. What I like about FTB is you can, if you go wrong, you can search it, oh, you need a chest. Let's get a chest. As you can see, I'm still a noob, I don't know much about it, so I'm slowly carrying you guys through how I do it. So, you know, just make a chest. Let me quickly make one. There you go. Put a chest at the bottom. Then you get your turtle. Then you put your turtle in and put a diamond pickaxe next to it. And you get your mining turtle. Now, I know starting off, it's very confusing on what to do with these turtles. Because they're not exactly explained very well. They're not simple. I mean, like, you, you look at it and you think you need lots of coding. But really, you don't need that much coding. You don't need to know very much on how to code a turtle. Oop. God. I'm destroying my own base here. Luckily enough, I'm on creative. Okay, so let's go down to the bottom and I'll show you the simplest ways you can use a turtle. Because they're not... I mean, like, to get this special stuff to, you know, make them dig out a certain height room and stuff, that's confusing. But if you just want to make it dig to get you items, that's easy. Now, I suggest powering it with lava buckets. Because, say, this is my turtle. Okay, now, let me, let me do a little diagram kind of thing for you. So, my turtle's here. I set him up to start mining. He's just used up this lava bucket. Now it's empty. Okay? It's empty. So this turtle will mine. It'll mine this block. Mine that one. Mine this one. Move forward to there. Mine that one. Mine that one. And then it'll hit this and pick it up and use it for lava. It'll use it for lava to fill itself and keep going. And lava will make it go pretty, pretty far. I mean, it'll, it'll power it. So now you, you have two simple things that I've learned. You can either make a tunnel... So you type tunnel, then the, how far you want it to go. And then what it does is it digs one to the left, goes up, digs that one, digs to the right, digs down. Now it'll just dig a two by three. So two high, three wide tunnel like that. It'll just dig that and put all the stuff in there. So every once in a while you come down, you take all the stuff, you know, go take it. Then you go break it, bring it over here, replace it, make it do it again. And you can get diamonds pretty easily if you do this on the lower levels. Or, if you want to get, like, the stuff that's near to the surface as well, like, a lot more of it, like, you don't find iron as much on the, like, layer 13 as you do on the higher levels. Just go up here and let me get some more lava. Place it somewhere. Let's say right here. Then you say, excavate. And then, how big? Oop, I'm out of fuel. Remember to always add fuel, you can use coal and all that stuff. Excavate five. Just like that. And all it'll do is dig out a five by five area. Yeah, watch out. Turtles are deadly. If you stand in front of a turtle, it'll start hitting you. 
So you see, a turtle will go around, pick all this stuff up. Oop, I'm accidentally placing turtles. I tried to right click. See? So it's really useful, and it'll dig straight down. It'll dig like a big quarry straight down. So, I mean, in FTB you can get quarries, but they're not as useful because these turtles are cheaper and they do exactly the same thing. Okay, so let's move on to the next thing. So the next thing that I really like is instead of using, you know, your normal chests where they have to take up two blocks, and then they're really annoying because you can't place stuff above them, use these. You can use iron chests, which are just a chest with iron. Gold chest with an iron chest with that around it. It's really cheap. Or with glass. Glass is even cheaper. Um, diamond chest. Diamond chest is really cheap and it holds a lot. Copper chest with a copper ingot just around the chest. Silver chest. Around the copper. Or a crystal chest with a diamond chest with glass around it. Now, what I love about these is look. Look at how cool this is. Crystal chest, you can see straight through them. So you can be like, ooh, I do have some gold chests in there. Go like that. But as you can see, these are like basically the size of double chests. And I mean, there's so much you can put in them. And they're not that expensive. I mean, look at this. This is what, like two diamonds, eight iron, some gold, stuff like that. A couple of diamonds. I mean, for that much room in that one square, it's so useful. And then something else that I absolutely love. Let's see. They're called... So what they're called is they're called barrels. Sorry about that Vox player. It comes up whenever I hit record. Barrels. So all you need is a slab and some kind of log all around it. So these things may not seem that good. What's really nice about them is they're cheap. So you can, you know, blah, 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 done. Then you got eight barrels. So you just place these somewhere. They take up one spot. They might not look too good, but they're really helpful for this. So I've just gone mining. And I've gotten a ton of dirt. But, you know, it's all up in my inventory, scattered around like that, blah, blah, blah. You know, I can't be asked to go click it and play, oh, yeah. And logs, I can't be asked to go click them. So what you can do is just right click on there and keep right clicking and it'll put it all in. Pick it up button, put it all in. So it's really easy for after you go mining, you can just pop them in there. And then say, ooh, I've got five stacks of 64 dirt. I only want two stacks. Left click twice. Oh, God, that's not going to work when I'm in creative. Let me fix this wall. Normally, just left click, and it would, let's see, can I go game mode, zero, chain axe. So you chuck your stuff in there, you just left click twice, and you get two stacks, instead of having to be annoying, and then you can just go up to it, right click, and put all your dirt in, and it'll tell you how much dirt you have, so it's really useful, really helpful. Instead of having to, you know, go into these chests and try to find the dirt, or fill up this entire chest with dirt, you just put it all in that one by one area. So it's really helpful. Set my game mode back. Okay, so now let's get into the actual machines. Okay, so the next three tools you're gonna need, or the next three things to make, are copper cable, a generator, and an extractor. Now these are quite cheap, I feel. They're quite cheap. Uh, this is really annoying when this pops up. One second, let me show you how to make a generator and extractor and all this. You just need rubber. Rubber's easy to get. If you don't know how to get that, I made a tech tutorial that still works for FTB. Or you can go to the Twilight Forest. If you go to the Twilight Forest, all you need to do is make, like, a little square, chuck a diamond, and you go to the Twilight Forest, there's loads of rubber trees, so that's an easy way to get rubber. Extract. So you need that. You need four tree taps, machine block, and an elect electronic circuit. Then to make a generator, all you need is that. Machine block, furnace, and battery. Copper cable, again, is quite cheap. This one's just annoying because you need rubber. Okay, where is the copper cable? Go, all you need is rubber, copper ingots. And then, yeah, you're all set for that. Ooh, and something else that's really useful are these iron furnaces. They're the same as a furnace, you know... But they smelt a lot quicker, so you don't have to use as much coal if you hate using up loads of coal. So what I like to do for my machines is set them up outside or in a big open space, because you need a lot of room for machines after a while. All you basically need to do right now, though, is a generator to an extractor. So now what I like about this is you get coal, and you know how, uh I have to go travel all the way over there to find one, you know, one piece of rubber tree to get like 10 pieces of rubber from, so it's a pain. 
Where for this, you could go, Ooh, look, one of those big, huge rubber trees. Or you can just start a rubber tree farm instead of only getting, like, three sticky resin. You just go up to your, pretend this is a tree. One of those trees. You just go one, two, three, four, five. Then you got your rubber wood. You're like, oh, yeah, got my rubber wood. Put some coal in this extract uh, generator. That'll power this. Then you put your rubber wood in there. So what's that going to do is it going to extract it and give you rubber. So it's a lot cheaper than doing most of the other things. So it's just going to extract this. And then once we get this out, we get rubber. Boom. So that's an easy way to get rubber for cables because you're going to start needing lots of these cables. Generator is quite cheap because you can use lava. You can use all kinds of things for it. So yeah, turtle's still going. Let's see how much is turtle mined. See, this turtle's only used one bucket, and it's like halfway down. It's gotten some uranium, some blue excronium, lead excronium, copper ore, amber, all that kind of stuff. So yeah, guys, this is going to be the end of this tutorial. These are going to be very short, but I'm going to try to get as many of them out as I can. The, sl the quicker I learn it, the quicker I'll get them out, because FTB is very confusing and very hard to do, because I'm trying to do it all legit and then show you it in creative. But yeah, I hope you guys liked this video. Remember to subscribe. I am trying to get TGM partners. It would be very much appreciated if you could subscribe and then share me with your friends or something. Any way to help me get a bit popular would be very much appreciated. So guys, thank you very much. Hope you guys all have a good day. See you next time. Bye.